Okay, this is my uh, chicken skin. Um, got this on Friday. I'm going to cut it up now because um, it's too big. Most of the pieces are quite, as you can see, a bit too big. And what happens is the cats will go in, the stupid cats will go and eat these first. And then the others will eat all the mince and there's nothing left for them. And all they'll have had was the chicken uh, skin. So I have to cut it up in bite-sized pieces that mixes with the liver and the heart and the beef and the chicken normal and the lamb and uh, salmon uh, fillets. Sorry, my finger's on the phone again. I keep messing up with that. We've got some lovely salmon fillets at £1.50 a kilo. I'll show you one of those after. But for now, I'm just going to get on with cutting up this chicken skin. Okay, oh, that was finished. So I managed to get nine kilos of chicken skin and one and a half kilos of pig skin, which I cut into sizes like that for the dogs. And then bits of bones. I got some little wings. Um, I got a tur big turkey wing, which I weighed. I can't remember what it weighs now. I'll just put it on which was 640 grams. So basically that'd be enough for Bea if she was to have it as a meal, but I'd just give her half, half of it and half to Rico. But the others can have these, the little chicken wings and things like that. So um, my uh, wholesale butcher where I get my meat from and I also get all my chicken from, um, didn't let me down as such. His staff let me down by letting people who hadn't ordered come in and take chicken and stuff, which willy-nilly. So it ended up where instead of getting four cases like this of chicken carcasses, no, six I usually get of this, sorry, I got three. And instead of getting seven 15 kilo bags of chicken, I got two. And... um. As you can imagine, I wasn't very happy. I mean, I spent like 100 nod quid there every couple of weeks, so it wasn't, I wasn't happy. Um, anyway, so like, as I, because of that, of course, I got all this free. I also, I mean, there's, there was more than this. There was a full um, uh, turkey carcass, which you will see the dogs eating on the beginning of this video or another video, I can't remember, or even pictures. And um, I also got two more chicken wings, which these dogs ate. And Wendy took some home for her dogs. And I can't remember what else I've took out of here. I know I've took something out of here. So all that was free. I also got a full pig's head cut into four and four pig's trotters free for the inconvenience. Um, I did manage to get chicken somewhere else where I normally go for all my tripe and my beef and my heart and stuff. But um, it's not, in my opinion, as good a quality as this chicken, which I get from this company. But, you know, needs must. Cats have to be fed. So I had to buy quite a bit of chicken. So because I spent so much there, they also uh, gave me, I think it was about four kilos of salmon, um, which, you know, is also nice for Christmas, isn't it? Right, I'll be back in a minute when I'll show you the salmon. Okay, this is a salmon fillet I got. Um, the light will come on. This one weighs uh, 705 grams. Um, they come in bags like this, so they're all rolled up. Some of them are probably heavier than that one, some are not. It just depends, you know, what side they were on. So um, I will cut this up and show you how I serve it for the cats, okay? Okay, I've done all the one bag of uh, salmon i've got five more to go but sort them out in a bit right okay this is the salmon all cut into pieces now as you can see it filled quite a big tub it's um three kilos and here i've put a hundred grams sorry a bit all over the place 100 grams of salmon which is an average amount that you would you know my cats get 100 grams no matter what size or whatever because they get extra treats and things like that but i weigh out 100 grams of food per day now that's far too much for an abyssinian but it's and it's a little bit less for a main coon but um as i said they get extra stuff later on in the day so i make it up with 
um, powdered milk and um, the skins and things like that. So, um, you know, they, they, they don't, let's put it this way, they don't starve. So these are, that's a, that is a normal size of salmon I would feed an adult cat. I've taken the skin off these, but basically there's one with the skin on, although it's, lo it's, it's thinner, so it's longer, so it's about the same. And these are baby pieces, which I would feed, um, oops, a kitten, as you can see the difference. Um, I usually always take the skin off for the babies, um, because, you know, it, uh, it's quite hard to chew. This is pink salmon. And basically what happens is when they catch the salmon, some of them grow too big. And um, they can't be um, eaten by humans, really, because they've gone past that nice stage. So what they do is they sell it to places who, you know, do it for cat and dog food. So that's why you get it. Um I don't mind, you know, like I said, it's fresh salmon, it's uh, off the boat, it's just too big for normal human consumption. So there we go, so um, I'll be back later to show you a full mix, what I do, which lasts all my cats for three days. Okay, um, this mixture, which is everything I said, um, contains tripe, Minced tripe, minced chicken, minced beef, uh, liver, heart, and salmon and chicken skins is hopefully going to do my cats and the dogs for three days. Now, what this is as it stands now. What I normally do is weigh it out into um, buckets and things for the different cats in the different areas and then I add a mixture of sunflower um, oil a little bit of garlic um, l lysine and taurine so it's all mixed together in this um, pot big pot enough to do them all and it also means that it's a little bit more watery so that they don't gulp it down and it gives them a chance to slow down a little bit. So basically that's it. Um, a little bit of a information on uh, how we do things. We have done a video like this before but that's a long time ago and as I'm redoing the website from start to finish I thought that this would be a handy one to start with. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again. Bye for now.